Okay, so this is the before. I didn't clean anything up. Lip drawer. Eye drawer. And then literally everything else. <laughs> My vanity. I've got the brushes. And then all of this makeup. I'm going to pull it all out. Um, lips, eyes, face, and we'll do it in sections. Okay, so let's start out with nail polish. If you've been watching my Project Pan videos and empties, you know I've used up a lot of these. So, um, I'm just going to pull out a couple that I know I'm going to get rid of. These Formula X ones I've been using a lot more recently. These used to be my favorite formula, but they just don't do it for me anymore. So, I'm going to move those ones over here, and then ones that I'm keeping I will put over here. This one is in revved up, really pretty like gold shade. I've got my top coats, which I'm gonna keep. Um, I'm kinda over this color and it's almost empty, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Keep these ones, this is my new favorite, the uh, Salon Manicure from Sally Hansen, really, really nice, and this is the shade Pinka Card. It's what's on my nails right now. Um, Let's see, I have a black in a different um, formula coming. I ordered a couple off of Julep, so I'm going to get rid of that. Just because I used to really love these, but they just chip so easily. So I'm going to get rid of those. Cuticle oil, I'm going to keep that. And that one, because I use a lot of cuticle oil. Okay, let's see here. Um, I'm going to keep both of these for now. I'm going to keep this one, get rid of that one. And get rid of that one. So I'm getting rid of six. I'm keeping two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so this is all of my foundations, powders, etc., etc., etc. I'm going to separate this out into different sections. So I've got some sprays here and then primers. So these are two that I'm using right now. This is the Becca Evermatte and the um, Too Faced Primed and Poreless. I love those. I'm going to keep those. Then I have two more NYX. So this is the pore filler and the shine killer. You know what, this one's too silicone-y, so I'm gonna get rid of the pore filler. Let's see the shine killer. You know what, that one's really silicone-y as well. So I'm gonna get rid of that one as well, because I just don't do well with those on my skin. And then this is the pony effect. Also really, really silicone-y. That's why I like these two so much, because they don't do that. So I'm gonna get rid of those three. This is the Gorgeous Cosmetics one. This is nice in the winter. This is my face sunscreen. This is my NYX matte finish, and then my Project Beauty Ready Set Go. So I'm going to keep all of these. So these are my primers and setting sprays, and I'm getting rid of three. Okay, so I have two like foundation foundations, and I'm going to keep both of these, the Estee Lauder and the L'Oreal. I have this BB cream, and I love this. And then I have all of these concealers. You know what? There's nothing in here that I'm not going to keep, so I'm just going to keep all of these. I think that's totally manageable. And then we've got powders. Okay, so these are what I'm using right now, the Rimmel Match Perfection and then the Kat Von D. I'm going to keep those. Then I have two other loose ones. I'm going to keep this Mally one, even though it is so, so messy. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this Hard Candy one and also this Vichy one just because it doesn't set anything. You know what? I also have this one. I just got this from Bare Minerals and I'm going to keep it because I haven't used this yet. Oh my god, I am just forgetting so many. And then there's this Hard Candy multicolored one, which I'm also going to keep. This is in my project pan, as is this, so I'm going to keep both of those. Hula I really like. This Too Faced one is just really old. Um, I got a lot of good use out of it, but I tend to just contour now and not be so like bronzy, so I'm going to get rid of this. Oh, you know what? I also have this little hula thing. I'm going to keep that as well. So these are my blushes. I'm just going to pick out my favorites. This one is in my project pan. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Actually, you know what? We'll probably be done more of this by the time this video goes live, but I'm using that one up. I feel like these two are very similar. This is Tarte Exposed, and then this is Love Baby by Too Faced. I feel like they're very similar tones, so I just kind of want to swatch them side by side. Yeah, they're super similar, so I'm going to keep Tarte Exposed and get rid of this one. Also, any makeup that I can um, sanitize will be available on my Instagram, and I'll link it down below. Okay, this I absolutely love. This is so stunning. This is Max Gleeful, I think? Giggly. And it's very similar to what this Too Faced color is, so I'm going to keep that for when this one is gone. Um, I have, oh, this is a highlight. Ugh, wrong one. I have got this one from the Tarte Birthday Gift. I haven't used that yet, but I have that. I have this Bobbi Brown, which I actually would like to, oh, okay, hold on. Let me just swatch these two. And then this one in the center is like sparkly. Oh, you know what? I bought this when I was in Vegas and I haven't used it. 
I just kind of wanted to buy something because I was there. I might depot this color and then I'll declutter this. This I actually really like. This is the Pure Cheek Stain in Peach Bellini. Oh, that's the brush side. But it's really nice and I've used quite a lot of it actually. This is like the only cream blush that I actually enjoy. So I'm going to uh, keep that. Okay, this one is one of my favorites. It's the Estee Edit one in the Barest Blush. I'm going to keep that. I'm also going to keep this. This is Pink Leopard. I've hit pan on it. So I'm going to keep that. And then this one I think is nice because I don't feel like I need to buy any more blush because I have every other color that I could want. Let me actually just open up all of my blushes and um, make sure that nothing's, you know, crossing over. So a couple of immediate similarities I can see is this shade right here and then this Estee Edit one. Those are like identical. Those are so, so, so similar. Um, but I'm still going to keep this one because I I think the Lasting Power is better here. And then there is this one, this Peach Bellini, and this shade. Those are identical. This isn't one that I feel like I need to keep, so I will pass this along in favor of that color there. Keep these seven. I'm counting this as one. I will be depotting that center shade in here, though. Highlight time. All right, time for highlights. Let's just stretch out and get comfortable here. So I got this Laura Mercier one, and then I have this Laura Mercier one. I also bought the new Laura Mercier palette, so I'm going to have a lot of those. I am going to sell this. This is in Devotion because I have got a little mini one here. This is a NYX duochromatic one, and it's got a blue shift. I'm going to keep that. A duochromatic one with a pink shift. Gonna keep that. This one here has a very like pretty champagne kind of highlight. And then this Ofra and Rodeo Drive. First of all, it's like out of the pan. But let's see. It is really pretty. It's a very pretty gold. Let's just compare it to that gold. Yeah, those are identical as well. So I will put this on my Instagram and kind of clean it up. This is a lot of stuff. <laughs> Um, I'm going to separate, first of all, the stuff that I know I'm keeping, which is pretty much everything that I'm using right now, except for this mascara. I don't like it. I'm going to um, declutter that. Where's my declutter not sell palio? It's over there. Tweezers. Okay, I'm keeping all this. Okay, these eyelashes. I'm going to get rid of these Huda Beauty ones and keep these Revlon ones because I don't wear eyelashes very often, but when I do, I like more natural ones like that. Single eyeshadows. I literally have three because I never, ever use them. Um, I'm going to keep this MAC one. It's stunning. It's beautiful. It is in the shade Smoky Mauve. Keeping that. This is ColourPop Alchemy. This was in my swap with Thea, who, when I'm filming this, just had a baby, so go to her channel and congratulate her. But it's beautiful. I just, it's the same thing as always. I just don't use ColourPop shadows, so I'm going to um, put this in my empties because I wouldn't sell that. And then this NARS one stunning also. This is in Dion. It's beautiful. It's like this beautiful like metallic taupe color. I'm gonna keep that. Brow pencils. I'm gonna keep all of these. I have two from NYX and one from Anastasia. I love these. Eyeliners. I have got, this is technically an eye base from NYX. It's a black one. I literally haven't ever ever touched that so I'm gonna get rid of this. Oh no. I'm gonna keep this little Bobbi Brown gel eyeliner. I'm gonna get rid of this like pastel purple. This is just like a liquid liner and it's it's just not intense enough. I just don't I just don't use it. Mascaras, I'm gonna keep all of these because I don't have a crazy amount of unused ones. And I'm gonna keep this primer and this duo glue is pretty new. I'm gonna pick out my favorites that I've been using, like time and time again. And those would be, I just got this one from Huda Beauty, gonna keep that. Modern Renaissance. Um this Tartlet one is really good for basic looks, and this is my like homemade palette, which I'll go through in a second and just make sure I like all the shadows, but I am going to keep most of that in there. So these are my three favorites. And then a couple that I just am kind of on the fence about, this Blink one. If I have a shade that's similar to this raspberry color, or if I don't, I'll depot it, but 
I'm gonna probably get rid of this. Look at that raspberry color though, that's beautiful. Oh my god, that's beautiful in Huda Beauty. It's like exactly the same, but a little more red. So I'm gonna put this on my Instagram. Really pretty, I'm just not gonna use it. I haven't used this Tarte palette yet. This is the one that we got in that um, BoxyCharm a while ago. But I am interested in trying it out. These shades are really, really pretty. So I will keep that. I have a feeling I'm not going to get rid of very much. Here is my thing with this palette. I really enjoy it aesthetically, and I enjoy some of the shadows by themselves. But as a palette, I only reach for like African Violet, which is stunning. I reach for like this cream color, and then maybe like, you know, this brown right here, and then maybe Truffle. But the rest of them I don't reach for. I'm going to, I'm going to sell it. Oh god, like saying that makes me sad. I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it. Yep. Oh my god, and funny story about this palette too. I, <laughs> when I hauled it, said that someone sent it to me. That is not true. I got emailed a receipt from All Cosmetic Wholesale or from Glambot or something, but I bought this when I was drunk one night <laughs> and I couldn't remember that I bought it, so I'm a moron. Okay, this is the Venus palette. I really, really like this. This is beautiful. I'm gonna keep that. This one is something that I'm also a little bit on the fence about, but it's so pretty. Which colors in this palette do I like the most? That is the question I should be asking myself, and it's probably like this shade and this shade. And if I have a like super light pink that's really sparkly, which I should somewhere, I don't know how much you just missed because the camera turned off, but I essentially swatched some of my favorite shades from in here and compared it to my Z palette. And I have a lot of dupes for my favorite shades, so I'm going to put this on my Instagram as well. And then, all that's left is to kind of look at all of these shades, and um, I will get rid of this also because clearly there's a lot of room. This is a blush from Makeup Geek, which I really haven't used, so I'm going to... I'm gonna get rid of it. I just don't feel like I need it, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Let's see, are there any shadows that I just don't really like? Oh my god, hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel like I might have found a dupe. Holy shit, you guys, look at this. Okay, hold on. This is NARS, and then this, I don't actually know what that is, but do you see that? This one is just like a little darker, but the sheen is so similar. This is, oh, I don't know, this was from that Urban Decay one. That Urban Decay uh, Oz palette, that's where that was from. Um, I'm gonna put this on Instagram. I don't need it if I have something like that. What else, what else? Now I just kind of want to make sure I don't have a bunch of dupes for these other palettes because I really don't want to keep things that I really don't need. So, I'm just gonna open up all of the palettes that I'm keeping. And we're gonna go over kind of shade by shade and just see if there's one palette that has too many similarities to the other ones. So, and I know that the Huda Beauty and the Modern Renaissance are very similar. I know I'm keeping both, it's fine. One that I would consider getting rid of is this shade, but I love that it has all these browns. So, I just wanna see if I have more warm browns like that. So that one and that one are essentially the same. And then the rest of the shadows I don't really care about, so you know what, I'm gonna get rid of this Tarte palette, I'll put that on Instagram. Cool, another one down. Guys, I'm down to like <laughs> so few palettes. I feel like that's good. I feel like I use all of these things, I love all of these things, and like this is, what, six palettes? That's not bad at all. Okay, this is probably the biggest category of them all. So, let's dump these out after I get my jewelry out of here. Okay, so I've got these pencil products here. Um, I am going to for sure keep Tootsie from ColourPop. It's my favorite lip liner ever. I'm going to keep this one from the Estee Edit. It is in the barest, in the buff, in the buff. Going to keep that. I'm going to get rid of this Trustique. It is just a really pretty red color. I don't wear reds enough to warrant having that. Um, I'm going to swatch this bite one. It's pretty, I just, I don't think I need it. So I'm going to put that on my Instagram as well. I'm going to get rid of that one too. I don't think I'm going to wear that enough to warrant having it, and that's in LBB. This one is pretty. It's from Hard Candy. And I actually really like this product, so I'm going to keep that. 
Okay, so this is all of my lipsticks. I don't have a ton. I'm going to go over these Rimmel ones first. This one I'm keeping. It is in 200. I love that. It's just a really nice light pink. These two I need to swatch. I really like the formulation. I just don't wear a pink like that, so I'm going to sell that. And then this one is like a coral in Call the Shots. Uh, you know what? I always think it's going to be nice to wear these in the summer. Well, summer just passed. Didn't wear it once, so I'm going to sell that too. Okay, let's go over these Giorgio Armani lipsticks. I'll link the um, haul down below as well as in the cards up here. I know that there's one that I can probably get rid of. And it is not that one. That one's beautiful. And it is not that one. That one is also beautiful. These are really nice if you like a shiny gloss. It's probably this one. Yeah, this is the red one. Oh, it's pretty, but I just don't wear it. So this is Giorgio Armani 400. This is an Estee Edit one I'm going to keep. This one is, oh, that's pretty. Oh, yas. Look at how dark that is. This is a bite in whiskey. If I don't wear that this winter, I'll get rid of it, but I'm going to keep it because this is the first winter I've had it. There's this Kate lipstick from Rimmel. It's a really pretty nude. I'm going to keep that one. This one is from Givenchy. This was from my swap with Abby, and I'll link that down below. It is in Secret Pink. It's really, really, really pretty. This is like one of my top lipsticks ever, and I'm almost done with it. This is um, Gone Grage from Maybelline. It's incredible, one of my favorites. Keeping that. This is Lime Crime Soft Spot. Is that similar? Yeah, you know what, that's really close to this Kate one, and I'm going to keep the Kate one and get rid of that. Then I have these two bite ones from my swap with Thea. This is the one that I wore a couple times, and I really like it. It is in Macaroon. It's just like a really pretty kind of bright berry color. And then there's this one, which is a nude. Oh, I haven't worn that yet, but I want to, so I'm going to keep that too. This one, Marc Jacobs, this is like my only red now, and I'm going to keep that. So I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 lipsticks, and I'm getting rid of 4. Now these are all of my glosses. A couple Buxom, and I love these Buxom glosses. I think the only one out of all of these I'm going to get rid of is this one. This is in the shade berry blast. I just don't wear glosses in this color. So that's one and three to keep. God, I really like this, but I think I'm going to get rid of it. It is it girl. It's almost empty and it's really old. So sadly going to get rid of that. Um, this NYX one I really like really pretty clear gloss. And then this Estee Edit one I really like as well. Going to keep those. This one and this one is in my project pan. I'm going to keep both of those, and I really like them as well. And this Lorac one is really pretty. It's just a nude. I love the formulation. These CoverGirl ones are really, really nice. I really like CoverGirl lip glosses. I'm going to keep those. It's just like a super brown shade. You know what? I think I'm going to pass this along. I literally have only swatched this. It's from... Allegory Story, Plato's Cave, really cute name, but I prefer, um, where is it? I prefer this one from Maybelline in Gone Grage because it's more of like a cool toned brown and that just looks better on me. So getting rid of three and then I'm going to keep uh, three, six, nine, twelve. I think that is pretty decent. I am disgusted by how many liquid lipsticks I have. Oh, there's a Buxom one. Gonna keep that. I actually think I have two in White Russian. I do. It's okay. I love it. So anyways, I have so many, so many, so many liquid lipsticks. Let's just separate these out by brand. I think that would be the easiest way to do it. I am going to, I think, swatch all of these and then just see if there's any overlap, and then pick out my favorite formula. I'm actually, I don't even need to swatch this, but just for color comparison I will. This is the Too Faced in Queen Bee, and this is one of my favorites. It's so pretty. If you guys are looking for something really comfortable, this is a great formulation. Although I do know that people's opinions on Too Faced differs. This is actually, actually a lip gloss. I'm going to keep that. Um, okay, these Australis ones bug me, I guess is the best way to put it, because they're really, really pretty, but they don't dry down completely, and really I only put up with that because this color is stunning. And then this one, I haven't actually used, I've only swatched it, but it is a pretty color. So if we have something else that's kind of similar, I will get rid of that one. So 
that's it so far. Then we have this NYX one, and I actually do like this one, it's really pretty. Kind of more of a bright pink. Okay, then we've got this one, which I think would be the closest probably to Queen B, but it's a little bit darker. So this NYX one. This is in embellishment. And then there's this ColourPop one. This is a matte lip. I think this came in a boxy charm. It's like a brown toned one. I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot of that color. So we'll kind of put that to the side. Getting into the Huda Beauty ones, I know that there's one in here that I just hate the shade of. So I'm going to get rid of Trendsetter. It's just such a warm, warm brown. And actually, you know what? I'm going to get rid of this ColourPop one as well. So that's two down. Let's get into these ones. There is one that I'm not getting rid of. That's Cashmere. But I'll swatch it just for comparison's sake. It's so good, you guys. This is like my absolute favorite, favorite color. Um, you know what? This NYX one is kind of close to it. It's just a little bit more purpley. And if I had to choose between the two of these, I will choose Cashmere, so I'm going to get rid of that one. This one I think I'm going to keep. I really, really, really like this shade. It's just, it's also kind of a warm shade, but it has more of a rust tone than this Huda Beauty one does, so I'm going to keep that. This one is in... Cougar. Sorry, this one was in low cut. Reading. So Cougar. I also really like this one, I think. Yeah, it's like a cool brown. I know I didn't show you that. I just don't want to spill it. It's like this cool brown right here. Really, really nice. Um, this one is in Stacy's Mom. This was from that MILF collection. You know what? That's really, really similar to this last Huda Beauty one that I said I want to pull in. This one. So... We'll put these both to the side because I don't need both of those. Then there's this one. Oh, that's a really warm brown also. This is in Buffy. Ugh, I, <laughs> I really never do this. I don't keep things for the name, but I'm going to keep this one for the name. I love Buffy. I have a Buffy tattoo. I, I'm keeping it. I'm sorry. Sorry. This one I think is in Polly. Yep. And I already know I love this one. It's so pretty. And you know what, just looking at this Astralis one, they're different, but I will always wear this over a bright pink like that, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then this last one is in Faded. Okay, you know what, I definitely don't feel bad about getting rid of that NYX one, because this is pretty much like that also. Oh, but it's also really similar to Queen Bee. Like, really similar, like these are the same. Okay, let me swatch these side by side and just make sure. Oh, they are exactly the same. Okay, I'm keeping Queen B. I'll get rid of Faded. Okay, oh, and then swatching these two side by side. Let me take off my watch. I'm going to get makeup all over it. Okay, you know what? They are different. This one is a little bit more orange toned. This one has a little bit more of a pink base. And if we're really looking at it, I prefer the Lime Crime, so I will get rid of that Huda Beauty. I think that's actually really good progress. I got rid of 2, 4, 6, and I'm keeping 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. I have gotten rid of a lot of lip products, you guys. This is exciting. And this is everything I will be putting up on my Instagram if you guys want to buy. So I will have that link down below. And thank you so much for watching. Let's show you a quick after of what everything looks like now. So it's not fully organized, but that is what that drawer looks like. That drawer. I was able to get rid of a couple of my organizers. This drawer right here. And then that's what that looks like up there. I have this set aside to depot. This to go back into my purse. And again, not totally organized because this is gonna go in but it just looks a little cleaner and then I changed up some of my lip stuff. So, definitely better.